What is up YouTube? I'm back once again with yet another DIY Tesla power update video. I'm just bringing you guys another quick update on what I've done so far since the last video. Pretty much the last couple of videos I haven't really changed very much and this video is no exception. But today I'd just like to show you pretty much the final setup I have going here and also what I'm planning on ordering in the future to improve this. As you can see we've got a lot of voltage displays here. Basically the purpose of these is to monitor each cell and make it a lot easier for me to determine if these cells are getting out of balance. Now these two here are in pretty much perfect balance in my opinion but this one here is uh, running quite low. Um, this is because I kind of used these at the start by charging them and then I added this one so this one's a little bit lower so eventually I will put a power supply to that and just put a bit of juice into that just to even the whole pack out and then I've also um, double sided tape my voltage and percentage meter which you may have seen from the last video pretty much this can be left every day by using it and discharging and all that kind of stuff and it pretty much works without a hiccup or anything so that was pretty much what I was planning on doing when I made this and now I've got some things on my computer that I am planning on ordering. Really what this is is a 3S 25 amp BMS and that's what it looks like. Um, the purpose of this is to prevent over discharging and keep the cells in balance which I don't think it will actually do. Mainly I'm using this BMS here to stop it overcharging. I'm not expecting it to really balance out the pack very much because it's only got small um, resistors on it and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, so that will be coming soon hopefully. And I'll be basically running the solar panel straight through that and then the inverter will bypass that. Over discharging I'm not really uh, worried about too much because this inverter here actually cuts off at 3.55 volts per cell if it does stay in balance. That isn't really too much of an over discharge so that should be fine. And I've also ordered things for my electric bike project which I'll just quickly give you a sneak peek. Uh, there it is. So that's pretty um, unrelated to the topic but you can see it's got a hub motor and all that kind of stuff on it throttles and all that. Um, I'm still trying to get some a bigger motor controller for it and stuff like that but basically the purpose of this is obviously to power my room. Um, it's also got to charge my electric bike which is going to be really uh, awesome when that comes in and it's pretty much working fine and I'm finding it hard to make updates on this which is already uh, perfect in my opinion. People will disagree on some of those things but this is all debatable and all that kind of stuff. I will be working on the remaining four packs and then obviously getting a new inverter so then I can um, really uh, take this project to the next level. Um, I don't know why I'm doing so much hand gestures. But yeah, just to quickly add, I did add some wooden beams to actually hold this in place. I cut slots into it so then the bus bars would fit through. Just thought I'd add that. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this update. If you did enjoy, please give this video a like and subscribe for future DIY Tesla Power update videos. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.